uh, communicating with your community. Know the language and speak with clarity. I remember uh, helping a, a young family on the south side of Chicago. And on the south side of Chicago, the landlord lives in the building and she does not uh, collect checks. She only accepts cash for rent. There's another family who lives in Naperville, Illinois, and that apartment building is managed by a management company and they take checks. So I had to be able to communicate with my underwriter to say, in this community, it is customary and it is, it is normal and it is usual and customary for the landlord. They don't take checks. They don't, they only take cash and there is no paper trail. <laughs> okay. So we're going to have to get a letter from the landlord explaining that I only take cash. I've lived here for 30 years. And so it's those kinds of things, understanding the uniqueness about your community and then being able to convey that communication to your underwriter, to your processor, and to your entire team so that your customer can not only have a fair and equitable experience, but they can have one um, um, that has been customized based upon, yes, we're still following the laws, we're still, but do we need to tweak something in order to get this file approved? So I'm always gonna say, learn their language and incorporate the uniqueness of your community into your templates. Um, let me give you an example. I'll never forget, I was taking a test and I had to choose uh, the letter of the alphabet that the rug started with. The only problem, I saw a rug and there was no R. There was an M for mat. I didn't consider it to be a mat. I considered it to be a rug. So sometimes if you are requesting something from your borrower, you may need to use language that they understand and or you may need to ask more questions so that you get a better understanding of their scenario. Find unique ways to educate your clients and business partners. Here's how I always tell my story, for example, about credit. Nobody wants to hear anything about credit. Nobody wants to be uh, bullied about their credit and certainly no one wants to be shamed. So whenever I had a customer who had a credit issue and she, you know, he or she may have felt some kind of way, I would say, listen, treat your creditors as you have your debtors treat you. Has anyone ever borrowed money from you? Yes. Did, and did they fail to pay you back? Yes. And how did that make you feel? So find creative ways to diffuse the energy in a very high anxiety process like buying a home and find ways to help your customer feel good about the changes that they need to make all the while getting what they need in order to get approved for that mortgage. Start a home buyers class at your local community college, at your community center. What about your local library? Um, is there um, a home buying class that you could do? Do you have to take your children to daycare? Maybe you can do a home buying class for all the parents who pick up their children um, at the end of the week, the end of the month. What about while you are at the hair salon waiting? I do home buyer classes at the hair salon because guess what? Everybody's just sitting around at the hair salon gossiping. <laughs> so how about we not gossip and we learn how to build wealth. And those conversations would always turn into learning opportunities, community building opportunities, and opportunities for me to be in front of someone once again, doing what I love most, and that is providing help.